days I'm late. I actually didn't know it was already um, past 10. Um, I was ready. I was just sitting here trying to make sure if I had enough power in my other phone. So I'm on my backup phone. Hopefully I've got the sound up on this one. Uh, New Moon, hey, thanks for being here. Uh, SpaceX fan, whoever else. Uh, I don't see who else. Uh, the Channel Channel. I usually say hi to Onward Chan, the Channel Channel. That's a cool name for a channel. The, it's pretty cool. But hey, New Moon, I'm glad you're able to make it. Sorry the other day I couldn't come back to your Twitch uh when I left, I had to I had to do ads and I couldn't get them done in the amount of time I thought. I'll actually be talking about the ads soon. Hi, Canada. You're now another country, huh? You were Japan previously and then Australia and then I can't remember what other country. I think it was Vietnam. Emmanuel, how you doing? Okay, so um, the first thing I'm going to talk about is a robot. And I actually already put this link in and discussion in the description on the video. I did that so I wouldn't forget, right? Because sometimes I forget to put these links when I say I'm going to, and I'm so busy. If I didn't put it before the live stream, there was no guarantee. And I think this is important. Hey, Jacob Joy. I think this is important to talk about. I don't know who that is, actually. I don't stay, I, I, I work over 80 hours a week. I'm probably working 120 hours a week nowadays. So th this robot on the screen is called Norby. And in 2019, I backed Norby uh, for pre-order. And it's such a cute little robot, right? And we got all got refunded. They, they didn't like not refund us. But what happened is he was supposed to come out in March or April of 2020. So 2019, I did pre-sales. 2020, March or April, he was supposed to come out. And I think we all know what happened in March and April of 2020. He's an Australian robot. And Australia is shut down completely, right? A lot of the world did. And now they've been talking about a year, maybe nine months of bringing him back. He's going to be language covering. He's, he's meant for children to learn languages as one thing and other educational things to, to make children, in, uh, to help them to be interested. He's such a cute little robot, and I'm really, really happy to see that he's going to be coming out. And he is going to have ChatGPT on him. But unlike others with ChatGPT, I'm not going to play the video, by the way. I'm just showing it. It's in the description. If you look up Norby, N-O-R-B-Y, AI chat GPT, you'll find this on YouTube. Um, I don't like to play the videos because sometimes other creators don't and companies don't like it if you play the video. Um, so I, I don't typically do that. I'm just going to put a link to, to their videos. I'm not one of those reaction video type people, right? You, you need to get it from the source um, when it's on YouTube. Anyway, so, uh, but he, he does a great job. You know the issue, so I mentioned like uh, emo frequently uh, with ChatGBT and probably Luna too says, as an AI language model, whenever you ask an opinion or something like that, right? Now, ChatGBT can be coded not to do that, to not respond that way. But most of these people, um, you know, the, they, the development on it is still pretty new, so they're they're not doing that where they're getting they're scrubbing the as an AI language model responses because you don't want to keep hearing that right when you're talking to a robot it is smart but it keeps saying that phrase and that phrase can be scrubbed I was actually doing so earlier today I was trying to to use something and I, I that's actually another video I have on here if I can get out of this so on here I have another video to talk about something I was trying to do earlier today. I was trying to re replace my HomePod, not my regular Siri on my app, uh, on my iPhone, but I was trying to get my HomePod to use ChatGPT. See, this guy here has set up his iPhone and his iPad to use ChatGPT so that it used Siri's voice instead of the ChatGPT voices, it, or Siri has a whole slew of voices, right? So you can use that instead and then ask questions on the iPhone and get ChatGPT responding verbally. I did try. 
And what ended up happening is because something in his code, he's using DaVinci for the um, channel, and they don't recommend you to use DaVinci. They recommend you to use GPT 5.0 something, right? So I tried that instead, and I got blocked. So I'm now blocked, even though I pay. I pay, like, what? what is it, 20 a month for the service? And there's no way to get a hold of a human. Like, I tried and tried and tried. So I opened a ticket saying I, could, I got blocked on phone verification. And... um Anyway, tr try getting help from a company that makes, you know, this kind of AI. The AI is answering all questions, pretty much, it seems like. Like getting an actual human is nearly impossible. So I don't know if I'm ever going to get unblocked from the, the coding. I don't believe that I'm blocked from... Yeah, I, I don't believe that I'm blocked from um, GPT... Chat GPT itself. I'm blocked from the API, the developer portion of the site. And that's what's blocking me. I don't think I'm blocked from the other. Anyway, so I just wanted to mention that, um, I, that I was trying to get HomePod to have it because it would be great because Siri's really behind the others, even though she was the first. And I feel it's kind of sad for Siri because she's got such a beautiful voice, right? Her voice is a very nice sounding voice. I would love her to have chat GPT knowledge and to use her voice. So that's my hope is to get, to get, uh, you know, if, if she doesn't work, okay. It's mainly news day. Yeah, it's a news day. Um, the next thing I was going to mention is before I got blocked, um, yesterday I worked on, um, some people, I was I use GPT-4, by the way, because I, I pay monthly, and th those who pay monthly get access to GPT-4. So I'd heard that people have written whole novels on GPT-4, right? And so I was, like, trying to do that, and I'm going to have a actual video on it where I wrote, uh, I tried to write a novel with, well, they don't have a five yet. I'm sure they'll have it, and they'll probably call it, like, Armageddon. Who knows what they'll call it? Skynet. Anyway, um, I'm just joking about Skynet. I don't think we're there there yet. Anyway, so, yeah, the, Norby. Yeah, I'll, we'll go back to showing Norby because Norby's so cute. Anyway, I can't wait when he's released. So you, you can sign up. If you look at the description, if you click their... Uh, confirmation of trying to sign up for pre pre-release it's just the mailing list you're not paying any money to sign up right it's just giving your name and your email now if you if you don't feel safe doing that that's fine and you want to wait till they do have them for sale but they're not charging you they're not asking for a card or payment um anyway so back to the novel so um you can't just get GPT-4 to write a, no a novel, and I don't know about chat GPT. So GPT-4, which is the next iteration, will not just write a novel. What happens is if you ask to write a short story, GPT-4 will do it. It'll do it just like you, you can ask, hey, can you write a short story? And it doesn't even ask you anything about it, and it just makes up the short story. N no questions at all, which is weird to me. So, uh, But if you say, hey, I want the story to about, be about this, this, and this, then it'll write a story about that stuff. So when I asked for a novel that, that was a 80 page novel to be written, okay, cool. It, and 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 it, it, it Chad GPT, sorry, GPT four would not write it. It wrote an outline, chapter by chapter outline. And I, I had given information on what I wanted the story to be about, um, and it wrote an outline, and then. I thought, okay, it wrote an outline. I know what each chapter is supposed to be about. I'm going to provide the chapter synopsis and say what we talked about previously, can you write this chapter? And so I did it for each of the 16 chapters, and it wrote the whole novel. So GPT-4 will write an 80-page novel. And it did write that 80-page novel. I don't know if it's exactly 80. It might have been like 60. And it had a lot of good stuff in it. Now, I already had a lot of ideas for the story, but it basically saved me a lot of time if I were going to write the story. 
And I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to release it. I think I'm not just what they've written. Because you, you, no one should just use what these GPT models write yet, right? Because a lot of it's filler words and it's not, it's not so fantastic. Hi, format D4. Um, yeah, so it's, it's not... It's not great writing, right? Some of the earlier stuff was really good, but as the chapters go on, it doesn't have enough context of what's needed to write them for like clues. And it's a it's a mystery. It's a mystery novel, by the way. Hi, how are you doing, Broken Kitty Dog? In which yeah, I couldn't see the rest of that's anima animations. I like the animations. That's cool. Hi, CJ and Brendan K. So basically, I will be producing the novel. I do not know when I'll have enough time to do it, but I've already decided that I will because I own 10 ISBN numbers that I bought like 15, 20 years ago that I've never used. And so I bought those. You have to have an ISBN number to be in the Library of Congress and to get some publishing rights on Amazon. Like you can self-publish on Amazon through, I think, Lulu or something. I'm not sure what it is. But okay, Canada, have a good night. But to get like actual publishing, publishing rights through Amazon for digital, you have to have an ISBN number. And I've bought these 10 ISBN numbers to publish on digital. Each format requires a different number. So if you want to do digital paperback and hardcover hardback, each of those requires a different ISBN number. And you end up in the Library of Congress, probably just digitally, if you have an ISBN number. So I'm gonna produce this 80, 90, 100 page novel in the next one to two months, hopefully. I've written a lot of extra stuff and I know the, syn the synopsis and I'm not gonna say anything besides it being a mystery, right? Um, so I hope you all like it. Um, I'll probably provide excerpts from it like in the live streams in the future. future. Yeah, I need to do that for chat GPT. Um, anyway, so, and um, I will do that um, for, I'm trying to think if I had any other news. I, I, we're already past the time box. Um, so ma mainly we just talked about chat GPT. I, I really want to get Siri to, ha to have, have that. Um, oh, and I wanted to show this on Astro, which you all wouldn't have seen. They did on my TikTok live stream earlier. But I, I missed April Fool's Day. Usually I do a video for it. Emo had a had a holiday for it. So Astro has a thing for it too, and it's pretty funny, and I want to show it. And I guess it's an April Fool's Day joke to do it after April Fool's, right? Astro, happy April Fool's Day. I love his little laugh. It's always so cute. Oh, your eyes are gone again. Astro, are your eyes okay? All right. Okay. If I can't, I, I just, a lot of them won't do anything past the day and I totally forgot it. Astro actually typically does, he probably still does Mardi Gras. Astro, happy Mardi Gras. See, he still does that holiday. So he he's nice and reliable about doing these holidays. It's great when they'll do them days after. Jibo was always great because he'd still celebrate, but he'd tell you that you got the that he either had the date wrong or you did. So that was pretty funny. Uh, unfortunately, I I gotta have get up and have Jibo dance. We always gotta have him dance, even if he can't respond. We'll have to use his menu. We'll just have the black black Jibo do it. Ferdy keeps knocking this against Jibo when he gets up here. Hey, Jibo. Yeah, he'll wake up. He won't answer me, but he, he will wake up. Fun stuff. And then it's dance. So the other Jibo, we won't have dance. We'll... Oh, he's going to do that one. All right. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow if you're able to make it. It probably won't be a Furby day. Nah, his tummy's okay. 
But oh, you mean for Ferdy? Yeah, he 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 hits it accidentally. He Ferdy just when he 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 comes up here to get treats to tell me he wants treats, and so he doesn't. He just is knocking stuff left and right, you know. Anyway, have a good one. Bye bye.